Okay. My phone was full and I hope uh, it doesn't cut off again. No. The subject matter of clips is World War II and politics. No, I did just put up, um, it says, uh, like real babies, it's about World War II. And I guess it's speaking of politics. And then it says, three items compromising two pages and a note card pertaining to Bettina. A one-page letter pertaining to Kathy Jenkins, San Diego. See, so they do this, but uh, there's a Kathy involved somewhere. No. Okay, those don't... If, if they don't have both my names in it and what I'm looking for, I must have just go past it. It was just on the same page as that. I have that one already. Bettina Boxall. Uh, Doctor Who. Uh, this one was funny to me. You know, I did do a video saying uh, doctors... Uh, clones, you know, and here it says Doctor Who. This is also Lake Forest Limo. Lake Forest Limo, I see, has a lot to do. Uh, this is Bettina Boxall. Okay, I have that one. Guess I grabbed some. Okay, this is one I was going to put in. Um, David, uh, Miss Caverage, I think that's his name, and uh, I hit. You know the wrong. I I I hit two S's, but when I saw it, it said David Missy Missy. See, sometimes they talk to you and you don't even know they're talking to you. This is my sister Missy, my baby sister. Do I miss my baby sister? I don't know. And I I I I try not to think of that kind of shit. I think that's why they put it there to try to give me some kind of trauma-based mind control. No, because see. You, well, it says L-A-V, but I don't like to text. My fingers seem to be too big, but it's still my name and his name. Now, let's go down. Here's Sandy Jenkins. And it's talking about selling Tiger leader, David Miscavige. The gamble and smoke cigars, but movies. They gamble and smoke cigars. And uh, I think I even have a video where I say, I think... Um, th this person who wants to handle me smoke cigars and then one time you know I was watching a, a video right I think it's a documentary or something and I was smoking a cigar and I went to put the ashes in the tray and then the, someone in the video it was a picture with a man's hand going to put the ashes in the tray off a cigar at the same time I did it. Sometimes TV and videos they kind of spook me out because they seem to try to keep up with my conversation or either with what I am thinking. I see a 58 right there. Who's who at the Intel base? There's David there's me. I did look this word up. And I'm going to look it up now too. Now on the page it said uh, me doors Jenkins. I guess that's what it said. Let me make sure. Let's get back to that. Let me cut this out. I don't need you. I don't need you. I just need this one. Now it says uh, M-E-A-D-O-R-S Jenkins. See how Jenkins are in parentheses? They're talking to someone. Also, here it says Rachel and Cook. Uh, my daughter went to court with her this morning, and they've been fucking with her for a long time. They're trying to do the same thing to her they did to me. Her name is Rachel, and uh, I have codes of her, too, with her name Rachel in it, and the court system and everything. And with those codes and uh, the power of thought, she got both her babies back, both of them. Yeah, this word, let's see what it means. Let's go to the Urban Dictionary. It says, uh, mid doors, I guess, are rarely seen and only come out at night to scavenge for food. Usually large, 
usually speak in small grunts or mumbles. However, I am rarely seen. And they don't only go out at night, very seldom go out at night, but I'm rarely seen. And they say these are coats. Here, the word says see. Okay, it says uh, discuss. Then it says see, hear, and unlove. I guess they put unlove because I'm not into the love bullshit. And then they have everyone around me as though they don't uh, give a fuck about me. You know, they put people like that. Not everyone, because I still have 2.5 children. I still haven't figured out which one is the point five, But I still have 2.5 children left out of eight. And then it says Atlanta Coast and I was damn sure targeted in Atlanta. And I think I just did a video and I spoke of Atlanta and said I didn't want to go there again. Then it said it's Mystics Center. I guess they think I'm some form of a mystic or something. No, it was something else here that I found. No. Here it says this word, the name given to unknown species that live in the sewers of neighborhoods. Where I live it right now, it is a fucking sewer. I mean, you go outside, it's just. Scientology everywhere. Meadows are rarely seen and only come out at night to scavenge for food. Usually large creatures. Meadows have become who they are by being bullied by peers. Do you see that shit? They, they uh, become who they are by being bullied by peers. These are not my peers, though. This is a code for 33 niggas. But I am bullied. The word shouldn't be bullied. No one should use this word. Bully, it is lie. We should use the word targeted by Scientology. If you ever come across one of these beings, please report them to the police immediately. Why would you report someone that very rarely comes outside? Except at night to scavenge to eat, find some food to eat, and they've all written that they like this because they're targeted by Scientology. So, why would you call the police? That is when I guess that is when all the police used to fucking follow me around. I have videos on that too. Um, for scientists, not Scientology, though. If you ever come across one of these, please. Br Report them to the police immediately for scientists and still studying their rare brain functions and eating habits. Hmm. Me does usually speak in small grunts or mumbles. These creatures may seem cute at first, but don't fall for their fake tears and puffy cheeks as they are just as distra a distraction to get you into their tummy. Look, it's a me dog chewing on that trash can. Now, I think I have videos of that too. And every time uh, someone, uh, every time I went outside to smoke, or when I would just go outside to go somewhere, someone would pass by me uh, to throw the trash away. Yeah. And even, you know, it hadn't happened in a long time, but I found, um, a cold and it talks about sanitation and I thought about that I have not never had that done here in this building until I came back from my daughter's um, when I came back from my daughter's court when I got to the door this man walked by me with a bag of trash and that is not that hasn't happened since I moved here that's the first time it ever happened see so I know they're, they're doing this shit I know it's them. No one can tell me it's not. This nigga, David, Miss Beta Bitch, Caveman Cabbage. And he, he probably smoked cigars. And, he, and I knew that that one that was trying to control me, or thought he had a hand on me, I knew he smoked cigars. Because I started smoking cigars. And it just came to my mind. Does this bitch ass handle sm smoke cigars? And then... I'm asking myself this and I'm watching a goddamn video and then I get ready to put my ashes out and, you know dump them in the ashtray and in the video the man did the same thing now 
So that's who's who. And so when you see me, then you're supposed to call the police because they still need to do research on my mind, you know. And that's how come when I meet targets, you know, especially, you know, on YouTube, they think I am a uh, perp because it's also put into their minds that this is what I am and that I will eat you. I don't eat people. Oh, here it is. I put it here. <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> I, I found the meaning and uh, surname in Britain, including meaning, etymology, origin, and this. Yeah, I found the meaning in here. I put this here because I am the cool, true queen of Britain. I am. That's why I call it bitch the queer London, the queer England. She is not the queer Britain. She is not. I can even get my name out of here. See, they want to call me Midas Jenkins, but my name is B I T I N A. You see, I knew this um, years ago when I was a child. It was playing the Science of Harmony Biff. I knew I could get my name out of Britain. And I also knew that I was the true queen of Britain, but I didn't tell anyone. Because I didn't want people to think I'm crazy. But after all this targeting and shit, I don't give a fuck you think I'm crazy. Shit. I might just be with all the bullshit happening to me. Now, also, um, this word, it is of Galactic Connection. Although they say GalacticConnection.com. This is Alexandra. But actually, it's Alexander who is actually Alistair Crowley to let you know. You know, they have to let each other know and give thanks to Alistair Crowley. They do their shit in codes too. This probably means more than just that. Now, I know I'm a galactic being. You're a galactic being too, but you don't know it. You know, when uh, your pineal gland begins to show you things about you or you may think it's a dream, you go tell someone, they would think you're crazy. So, you push it away because of your beliefs, you know, you've been told that, you know, and maybe you've been told there's no such thing as past lives. I don't know. I've never been told that, you know. So, I know that I've been here before. I've been here. This is my 26th time coming here. I've died on this planet 25 times, and I'm really working hard not to be able to come to this stupid bitch's planet again. I don't want to come. So, this is my galactic connection. Because, you know, I also did a video where I, I go to the scriptures and say, Oh, you Galateans who have bewitched you. You need to know who have bewitched you. And the word bewitch is the word bitch. So, it's all you Galateans who have bitched you. And now I know that it is Miss... Beta bitch, caveman cavities, and there's some more. But as long as I get to the top, I'm at the top. I'm at the top. You know, I'm only on the fourth step, and I'm at the top. Well, I don't know what the fuck I can do to them because you know I I fight alone, and I'm fighting uh, the bitch bitch. Uh, well, I can't call him bitch bitch because there's another bitch bin bitch. I don't want to get it mixed up. But I'm fighting this pink motherfucking miss beta bitch caveman cabbage. I'm fighting that bitch and he's fighting me with everyone else. So I have to fight a lot of people. And you know, I've been thinking about that too. And I thought, you know, all these people I'm fighting, damn, I must be strong as fuck. You know, I mean, they can make my back hurt so bad they did today, this morning. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll sweat like fuck before I cry. No, bitch, I'm not crying, uncle, and I told you that. And so now it says, And I have with me my husband, Stephen. So now Stephen is there. I know who Stephen is, but I'm not going to say who Stephen is. He's, n he's never been my husband. But this word is used because they're doing this shit, well, in the United States. And this word is also a code. See, United States and C, whatever. But I, I mean, I can go on and on and on like that with these words because I can read, you know. 
I don't mean I can say the words as they go along. I can read. I read what the fuck's in him. Now, the scripture says um, there will be a burning bush in the midst. In the midst of the burning bush. Here you have B U S H. But where is the burning bush in the United States? Was very interesting because one of meanings was to pull or to draw. So they're trying to pull me into whatever the fuck they want to pull me into. Or they're trying to draw me into what they're trying to draw me into. It also could have another meaning because with my dolls, they're going to be having a celebration of bid whist because you know a melanated man invented bid whist and we probably invented bid in every game too but i know a melanated man invented bid whist you have to pull cards and you have to draw a card you know uh there's six cards going to the middle of the table you bid for them when you bid for them you draw those cards down <laughs> so but i know they're trying to pull me in or they're trying to draw me in Okay. No. Here's another one with his name, David Carriage, but they tried to change this shit around. A professor is about this shit too. Here, instead of having Bettina Jenkins, they have Gina Jenkins. Peacemaker, Bettina J. You see that? Peacemaker, Bettina J. Because I am a peacemaker, maybe they want to make peace with me. Because once I find out about you, I, I get on a fucking roll. Now, here we are in Florida, and this shit happened to me in Florida in 2003. Is when they came in and really, really, I was free game in Florida. Now, my first husband, his uh, baby brother name is David Johnson. Funny, they started off with that. See, because they try to hide who they are. Here, they try to say I'm lazy. In Lakeland, Florida, I lived there too. In Lakeland, Florida. Uh, it's a good ways from where I live when this shit happened. But when I first actually moved to Florida, I turned the TV on. They called my Abba. I wasn't too far from Lakeland. I went to Lakeland to shop. Uh, I went to Lakeland to visit, you know, those I knew. A lot of them lived in Lakeland. I stayed there for a little while. But then I moved to Lake Placid, Florida. And here's his name, Miss Cabbage. And Lakeland, and that's Florida. So it, it just lets me know he's been in every fucking thing, every walk of my life. David Lawson, they sent in the law on me. Uh, and I lived on Mount Dora Street. You see, West Mount Dora, I lived there. See, so the codes you will find yourself. You're going to find yourself there. This Christy Jenkins, I don't know, but she probably has something to do with all this and all that. Now the bitch wants to come in Tony, which is stupid because they wouldn't want to name Anthony or Tony because that shit means the that means you are the littlest, the smallest of. Damn, you know, like when the pig has her baby, you, they're the smallest of the pig babies, the piglets. So they are the runt. They're not the baby. They're the smallest. You know, like you have cats. Um, a cat can have the first, second, third, fourth baby, whatever. They will be smaller than all. They're called a runt. So he lets me know the bitch is a runt. And here's my birthday hit in 1958, you see? Eastboro, Kansas, never been there. But it doesn't really matter about a lot of shit in here because certain things can be coming out of here. Like this could be like um, the op where the operation is coming from. Amy can really, really, really explain it. I just see it and do the science of harm a biff. Now here we have... Hamrick, Hamrick, you see, remember the word Rick, Janice and Hamrick again, and these people here, I don't know, here's a Hamsley, he comes as David, he's the photographer, and then Sharon, that's my oldest sister Sharon, it's also one of my doll's names, <laughs> she's the older sister too, so that's my older sister Sharon, but here we have Harmon Jenkins, 
Rick Harmon is the name of the police officer that they sent to me in Florida. And then I just showed you the Florida code. So here's another code. See, because also with these codes, uh, these people, they can put them under mind control. All the other people who are involved, they can put them under mind control. So he is harming once and harming twice. But there's a Rick. But it has a Helm because I call the nigga Helm. You know, like Helm had a device because he is Helm, H A M. And uh, then uh, Miss, Miss Cavage. And then Hill, but there's David. He's the one taking the pictures, and he probably was. He's the one giving out the programs where everyone needs to do. Hill, here's another hill, another hill, another hill. Those are four hills, which makes a foundation. And it was the government of Florida that, uh, you know, Harmon, he's a police officer, he's the government of Florida. But also, that's why I became free game. And it was the government of Florida that also put out a warrant for me. After I went to court and did everything I needed to do, I left. and had nothing else there. Everyone was against me. The whole town. There's a song say the whole town's talking. No, that's the whole town talking. But there's a song say the whole town's talking about me. That's what it says. Silly fool, how'd you lose such a good thing? And I did have a good thing going on. In the word good is God, that was me. I was working my ass off to be sovereign. But I guess this David, uh, Miss Beta Bitch, Caveman Cavage, didn't like the shit. See, C A V E E, but has cave in his fucking name. Comes in his name, nasty bitch. And uh, this is the same thing. So this was repeated twice and it actually was because um, as I was saying uh, I went to court for my children and everything and actually I thought they was just never going to give my children back like I just actually lost my children. So I left, I came here. The next thing I know, they, Florida put a warrant out for me, so I dealt with double jeopardy. That's when they held me 10 months and just threw me out because they had no case. And uh, there was a lawyer, and I bet you his name is in here. I bet you, Claude. I bet you, Claude, was his name. I don't remember now. But um, um, it, it was a melanated lawyer. He went and talked to my children. It took three fucking years. This was three years fucking later. He went and talked to my children. He didn't tell them what I said, uh, anything like that. And then he came back to me and told me that my children told him the exact same thing. I told him. Next thing I know, Claude was getting him, and he was a junior. I think his name was Claude. I, I'm not for sure, but I really think his name was Claude. And uh, next thing I know, he went to work for a private firm. That's what they do. Here, um, in 1997, when they took my children here, they gave me a lawyer. Her name was Rico. She was doing a damn good job. Next thing I know, she was gone. Then they gave me someone named Aaron. And I asked her, I said, so if you are Aaron, who am I, Moses? Because I have a culture and I'm not giving my culture up for anyone. I'm going to die with it. Here, see, it says programs. I don't know. This is another language. Should have put it in to see if it's German. Because, you know, the Germans are the ones came over here to put us all under mind control. Here's his name, Dave Plus. And that's my name. And there's his name, Hole. Leader Omnipotent. Dila said whatever the fuck that is, but the bitch, he may be omnipotent because he can. He can see everything I do. He knows everything I do. So he's letting me know that he's omnipotent over me. That's fine. You could be all omnipotent over me, bitch. I know you're doing this shit. Here we go again. His name, Bettina Jenkins. As I said, you know, you look these other names up, you'll find what the fuck they're saying about you. And here's Thomas. David Thomas Jenkins. So now he wants to come as David. Because Thomas is short for Tom. And Tom is code word for target of military. This bitch. He thinks he's a military leader. 
This 25 minutes long, I'm going to come back.